were snapping axles every trip, every trip, every trip, every trip, every trip, every trip. When we have our wet seasons uh, and the roads are uh, washed out, or in the dry season, uh, there's not enough for money, not enough for money, not enough for money, not enough for money. Think of all the problems that you have at once, it's daunting. Like you, you could talk yourself out of going out there, going out there, going out there, going out there. Going out there. The Tanami. It's variously called track, road, or highway, at times a lot worse. It joins Alice Springs and Central Australia with Halls Creek and the Kimberley region of Western Australia. The road services the gold mines of the Granites and Tanami and large Aboriginal communities. Mines such as the Granites employ large numbers of workers from the centre and require large transport and industry support from Alice Springs. This means the businesses of the Tanami support a large part of the economy of Alice Springs. But in unprecedented wet seasons, the Tanami Road has been closed for more than 12 weeks out of the past 18 months. The closure has meant layoffs of subcontractors at the mines and road transport has ground to a halt for up to five weeks at a time. Brooke David is immediate past president of the Northern Territory branch of the Australian Trucking Association. And as general manager of Australian fuel distributors, he has had trucks running the Tanami for many years. The road gets a hell of a lot of heavy traffic and at the end of the day, it's a dirt road where the, um, that was built 30 years ago and over the years we've just been grading the top off and it's a money issue really. We just haven't poured enough money back into it for the amount of traffic that's going out there and it's renowned to be the roughest road in Australia. For many years there, um, we were snapping axles every trip. We designed a workshop in Western Australia in Kununurra where we, um, we'd pull one set of trailers back from the desert truck it unhook if it could go back out and hook under another set while we uh, replaced axles on, on the road train and, and serviced it. While politicians and bureaucrats decide the future of the Tanami, life goes on and tough operators with tough trucks have found a transport niche operating where many would dare not go. Alice Springs-based GS Transport is one such company. Owned by the Bellato family since 1994, the business runs six Kenworths, 34 trailers and two full-time subbies. GS run the Tanami around the clock seven days a week. Managing director is Robert Bellato, and the day-to-day -day running of the business is carried out by himself and his brothers Frank and John. A bitumen strip runs 140 kilometres out to the start of the Tanami Road. At the end of the bitumen, the trucks pull off the sealed road and deflate the steer tyres. Greg drops the pressure to 50 pounds.
low tyre pressure is pivotal in keeping equipment in one piece, according to the Bellato brothers. Before we, we, we go out on any of those roads, we let the whole triple down. So like in the winter, we might let it down to 65, yeah. 660 when it's a little bit cooler. It's not too bad. Because the heat doesn't build them up that much. Yeah, we, we, we've even tried like down as low as 57 pounds. Yeah, I, I usually run about 50 in my drives. I like that around there. And um, even around 45, 50 on your stairs, because that protects the truck a lot, you know. Yeah. That's probably one of the most crucial things running out there. If you've got your tyre pressures up on your trials, you're just looking at big damage, you know. This is the real start of the Tanami. This is the suspension crushing, tire hammering road that sends bearings ballistic and Conrod's crashing. The Northern Territory Transport and Works Department has worked hard to repair the Tanami after the destruction of this year's wet. But compressing a year's freight into nine months is putting unprecedented pressures on the road. The Bellato brothers say they can't praise what the Works Department has done on the Tanami enough this year. So how do you spec up a truck so that it stays in one piece and turns a profit on a road like this? Oh, Johnny's good at name that. Yeah, it was like your buddy. You do your best toward it, but like, there's always alterations you have to do to it. Yeah, like yeah. Strong, um, beefed up bonnet mounts and things like that. We've yeah. found that they don't come out of the factory strong enough. The Bellato preference for the Tanami is the Kenworth 501 Brute with Tanami modifications. While the drivers like the T950s of the GNS fleet, the 501s are the day in, day out workers. And it's back on the track. With the slow slogging of the Tatami, Robert Bellato says Caterpillar engines are doing a good job. Any of the cats are, are good, the 550s or the 600s. Yeah, they, we, we, we get an equal, equal fuel economy out of all of them. Yeah, and they both, they all pull, like even our um, old mechanical ones. Yeah, the little 425. Yeah, we've got them beefed up. They run with the big boys now, you know, like yeah. we've changed the pistons and a few other little things. The trucks all have 18-speed transmissions and Rockwell or Eaton diffs. The Bellatos estimate that with a mix of infrastructure and running costs, the cost of running the Tanami is about twice that of highway running with comparable triple combinations. The challenge now is for the Territory Government to develop the Tanami to a level adequate to maintain production, employment and services in the Tanami region and the economy of Central Australia.